in this video I'm taking a look at an RC car made for kids. It is pre-wrapped right now, so if you want to grab it for the holidays, it's a good idea. Check out a couple of detailed images, and then we'll get it open and take a closer look. Alright, so I've got the RC car kind of sitting over here in pieces. Uh, I've got the box that it comes in, which actually looks really nice. It's got a lot of you know, nice graphics and everything. And you have an instruction manual. I really like that they include the charging cable as a USB style charging cable. So that's really cool. There's an LED indicator as well to the barrel connector. So you plug this into the uh, car. The car has the battery already inside. And you'll need AA batteries for the remote. So here's your remote. You have a demo button, a mute button, your forward and back, and your left and right control uh, sticks, and your mode button. So you can go and change between whether you want to drive the car or if you want to uh, use the articulation of one of the included attachments for the arms. And uh, just so you know, there's a little tiny screw I haven't put back in to the back of the remote right there. So you got your on and off switch right there. All right, so you've got different attachments. So you have different arms. This is one of them. So you have like a, a digging type arm. You have like your loader, your front loader uh, type of an arm here. And attached to the unit, <laughs> my favorite one, because I just think it looks kind of cool, is this little claw. All right. And there's little buttons you push right here. And when you push those buttons, it releases the mechanism inside. And then you just have to kind of pull. So there's three, uh, three holes and three prongs. And this little piece right here that attaches and comes into contact with the motor uh, assembly right there. So you just make sure that little piece gets in place and push the buttons to release. So you'll have to teach your kid how to do that or be careful and help them with that. You can see... When you push the button, that portion moves. I'm not going to pull them off right now, but these four pieces that you see, these are uh, you can remove those and attach those, sort of a Lego style. You can kind of see the uh, surface there. This portion here is also removable, so it's kind of a Lego style. So you kind of put it however you prefer, you know, whatever look you want. And then this portion here is where the main cabin goes on. And that's over there, but real quickly, I'll show you the bottom. You got your power switch on the bottom and your charging port, you can see. And I really like the way these wheels are designed. They have these rollers, and then they have the regular wheel, so you can go forward and backward and side to side. And because of that, you can also basically turn zero degrees and just all in one spot. Um, using the remote so and all of the wheels have that so it's really really neat how they did that uh, forward reverse left right of course uh, the demo button will put it into an automatic mode so that it uh, kind of uh, has the noise the engine sounds and different things and the uh, mechanical working sounds and it'll move around the arm and drive the car there's LED lights on this thing uh, side lights on this thing which are really cool these are blue white on the front and the actual like central cabin where like your driver would be located is in multiple pieces so you have your main shell your two side pieces and the top which has the little light so that can all be disassembled if you'd like I kinda suggest just leaving it together really um, it's not really hard to disassemble, but it's not easy. You've got to kind of get your fingers in there and pry things apart. Uh, little fingers, little hands, they can either maybe benefit from having smaller fingers and be able to get in there, but it also may be a little bit tough for some uh, kids, depending upon, uh, well, their strength and their dexterity and, and everything. Uh, so, 
some of the parts like that main cabin should probably just stay together the rest you can take apart and disassemble really easily it just lays in place um, like a Lego and it may be compatible with some other uh, building blocks Legos and everything because of the pattern you'd have to see but once you kind of line that up you kind of press it down it just stays in place and then it just comes pops right off so it's very easy to work with in that regard these are recessed down a little bit so it's a little harder to get down in there this part right here you saw easily that came off uh, before so if I turn the power on you see the flashing blue lights flashing headlights and if I turn on the remote you got it all cranked up and you can kind of hear so it's not very loud if I press that there's a mute option okay anyway so I want to show you that real quick now let's take a look at it like on the floor just kind of playing around with it and see what it looks like and give you an idea so the range on this is about 130 feet and runtime is uh, near an hour uh, after a full charge so it's really cool uh, you know that's a long run time so this is really going to be good for small kids it's not really fast but it's it's decent uh, so it's going to be good you probably won't have too much damage to your home uh, because of the fact that it's not going to be very very uh, fast in that regard all right so anyway let me show you real quick uh, just a quick little run through uh, of this actually in action on the floor uh, playing around with it and uh, that'll give you an idea of what to expect otherwise if you want to find out more you can check out the link below thanks for watching